Hey Bubs. Alright, today we're going to be talking about the uh, Xbox and PS3. Um, well, not necessarily PS3. We're going to be talking about the newer uh, systems coming out. Um, so I've been looking around on the web looking for new information. So I've been hearing uh, Xbox is buying a lot, a lot of websites for their new uh, Xbox system. Uh, one of them that stood out the most from what I've seen is Xbox 8. Uh, rumor has it, it might not be called the Xbox 720, it might be called Xbox Infinity. Um, turn the to the side, you got the Infinity symbol. Um, PlayStation 4, saying it might not be PS4, it, um, it's going to definitely be called something else. And uh, it might be called uh, PlayStation Orbis, um, along with Vita, the uh, two words that you put together and it comes up with another word. Um, can't remember the top of my head right now. Um, as far as the specs goes, Xbox is leaning with the uh, the whole Blu-ray. Uh, right now, it's going to be using the uh, the state of the art chips that they come out now with the new with the fast CPU that's out right now, graphics card that's out right now. So everything that they're using that's going to be latest, greatest out right now. But by the time it comes out, you know CPUs will be a lot higher and faster and better. Um, that is the only drawback of home systems that that CPUs don't. Uh, that's why CPUs are a little bit better. As far as graphics go, PlayStation, um, from rumors, what I've heard, um, the graphics that they're going to be using, the cards and all that, aren't going to be on par with the uh, Xboxes so far. Um, you're hoping that that rumor is going to be fixed and changed, um, but if that is true, PlayStation is going to suffer another horrible, horrible uh, selling system compared to the Xbox of the last, uh, last console. Um, PlayStation was kicking Microsoft's butt, um, then when Microsoft released the 360 first, before the PlayStation, it got a leg up and just continued whooping on the PlayStation. And now, PlayStation, you know, it wants to come out of the gate, maybe first or at the same time. But in order to uh, beat out Xbox, they have to come up with the uh, either the same kind of chips that the Microsoft is using or something a lot better and higher grade to uh, make it look a lot better. Um, you know, you got the uh, Crytek engine there. Talk about the new Crytek engine that and how it's going to look and work. Um, from what I've been reading, it looks like it's going to have um, real-time development for the developer. So you can cut the development time in half. So if they want to add a bush there, it will appear in real time. Everything will happen in real time. Uh, as far as water goes, the flow for the uh, the current will go as well. But they added a new uh, code in there. So when you go underwater, the underwater will have its own flow. So when you're swimming, you can feel the... Uh, that your water swimming is going to be a little bit harder if you're swimming upstream than you are with the uh, downstream with the uh, current. Um, there are going to be a lot more uh, things that they're going to add with that. Um, the shadowing, the uh, the texture for each of the buildings and the leaves and stuff like that. It looks amazing from what I pictures I've seen. Um, from also what I've been reading, the uh, developers have been saying that they have not gotten anywhere near uh, cinematic uh, uh, CGI for the games. Um, as far as that goes, um, it looks like for the cutscenes that we've been seeing for the games that we've been playing for the PS3 and the Xbox 360, it looks like we are getting pretty close. But, um, you know, we still got a long ways to go as far as that goes. It looks like the next system we'll be playing, cutscene wise, that we've been playing, that we've been watching on this system, the cutscenes will be what we'll be playing next year. You know, as you know, we saw the PlayStation 2, the cutscenes are, you know, were amazing. And you know, we wish we could play in games that look just like the cutscenes. Now we're playing the games that look like the cutscenes of the, uh, the PS2. You know, now we're going to step onto the PS4, playing cutscenes that look like they were on the PS3. So, you know, we're getting really close to, uh, you know, cinematic on some games. Some games, no. As far as, realistically, uh, CGI uh, films could get. Um, you know, they're nowhere near it, but I would say within two more systems after the next one. So, with the PS4 and the Xbox Infinity, or should I say, PlayStation Orbis, and the Xbox Infinity come out. Got two more systems after that before we get to that uh, level of realism in gaming. And um, developers are working on uh, newer games for the new systems. They have not announced it, but they have a uh, list that they are, you know, working on new games for the new system. So we could uh, expect hopefully great games. PlayStation games come out with um, some games and not cancel them. <laughs> like uh, eight days later for the PlayStation Three, never got made. Uh, the Getaway Two. Never got made. Um, for Xbox, I could find a list of games that were being made that uh, got cancelled, but there was a lot of PlayStation games that weren't 
they showed a lot of potential that did not get made. We'll see if that happens uh, for the new system around. Hopefully they'll uh, come to the senses and remake those games and make it for the PlayStation 4. Uh, rumor has it Uncharted 4 might be on the PlayStation 4, or Orbis, as they are calling it, maybe. Uh, the designs of the system have not slipped out yet, um, but rumor has it might be the same for the PlayStation. Might be, you may be sleeker, thinner, might change it up a bit. Um, Xbox has not released their uh, uh, system what it would look like, but rumor has it the controllers will pretty much stay the same. Might be slimmer, might be, you know, uh, more... More, more gamer friendly for some of the controls for the Xbox. Um, PlayStation might keep it the same. It's worked for PlayStation 1, 2, and 3, the design. There's no need to change it. Why change it if it works? Uh, same for the Xbox. But knowing that they might make it a little bit slimmer and easier to handle. Uh, system wise, uh, all around, they're going to be supporting all kinds of uh, you know inputs for you know that. Uh, not to get, they're both going to be wireless. Um, you know, So for all people who have the Xbox and didn't have the wireless, we're going to have to get that by attachment. It will be wireless, uh, Blu-ray, you know, so you guys will definitely benefit from the more capacity on Blu-ray. You know, if you had one game for PlayStation that came out on the Xbox, you might end up having two discs compared to PlayStation having only one or maybe three, like uh, some games had, which is kind of, you know, a lot of, you know, CDs have for one game. Those are things that will be improved for you guys at like Xbox. PlayStation, uh, looks like they're going to try to overhaul the... Uh, Network, we'll see if that happens, how that works. Um, graphics wise, we will wait and we'll see what they got. Um, as far as um, what they have, they showed the uh, footage of uh, the Heavy Rain guys who showed footage of this, you know, cinematic that they showed, and it's um, a robot being built by machine and becoming self aware, and they're talking about destroying it, but then he decides not to. See, yeah, that one looks amazing. Now, if that's what it looks like for the next system, no, I would be amazingly happy with what it would look like. Uh, we'll wait, we'll see. Um, but they say that there's a lot of life left in these two systems right now. The developers are saying that it looks like it's the end, but from Microsoft and them, they said they still got some more years left on them. We'll wait, we'll see. Next year uh, might be the year they launch the new games. We might hear something about E3 next year. I will keep you posted of what new systems coming out uh, and what other new greatest things that they'll have uh, in these new systems like whether or not they change the chips for the PS4 or for the Xbox 720 and see what they have. come up with those and I'll keep you guys posted on all that. Alright guys, leave a comment. Uh, like or not like if you didn't like this footage. Um, also, uh, subscribe to this page. I have more uh, news coming up and I promise you guys I will have more Max Payne uh, footage coming up to you guys next.